Hi guys, D900 Man here with MigrateiPhone.com and we've got a fantastic review or video and a how-to for you today. This comes in the form of the iOS 5.0.1 jailbreak and this is for all the A4 and below devices such as the original iPad, your iPhone 4, your iPod Touch 4G, your iPod Touch 3G, your iPod Touch 2G, your iPhone 3GS and all those devices. Unfortunately it's not going to work on the A5 devices such as the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S. Now a massive thank you to the iPhone dev team for releasing this and also to Pod 2G and all the work on the vulnerability and exploit that you found. So in this tutorial we're going to be using Red Snow 0.9.10 beta 1 and the link to that is going to be in the description below as always. So first of all I just want to show you that my iPad is running iOS 5.0.1 so here you go you can see just here that is what it's running so we're going to head over to the Mac and you're going to need to download this and you're also going to need the firmware for iOS 5.0.1 for whatever device you are using so first of all you're going to click, click on jailbreak just here click this and it's going to say make sure your device is turned off so that's exactly what we're going to do now and slide to power off okay so once it's stopped giving that spinning wheel we're going to move on straight to the next step now as all jailbreaks this process is going to be really really simple and there are on screen instructions so you just need to make sure that you do follow those so here we go. So we're going to click next and do exactly what it says on the screen. So hold the power button for three seconds, one, then the home button and the power button for ten seconds. And then release the power button, but keep holding the home button. And that should put it in DFU mode. So here we go, it's exploiting with Lime Rain just now, it's just working through the process. It's uploaded in the first stage and now you should see the iPad reboot. So as you can see it's preparing for the jailbreak and now it's processing the kernel. So just wait for this all to happen, not much happening on the iPad as you can probably see itself. So I want to enable multitasking gestures as well as install Cydia. Click on next and there you go the iPad gives you the downloading jailbreak data. It's just uploading the RAM disk and this process takes a couple of moments and then it should be rebooted and all you can see all the information is working straight from there. So it is an untethered jailbreak which means that you don't have to have it connected to your computer each time you need to reboot it. So that works really well. So we just wait for this to finish and for it to reboot. I can um, close Red Snow down but personally I like to keep it open while doing this. Make sure it all goes through just nicely. So it's just updating the file system. So once it's all done that we'll come straight back and we will show you the jailbreak itself and show you that it's still running iOS 5.0.1 and also it's got Cydia and we'll do a reboot of it as well. So here we go, the iPad is now all done and that's taken probably two to three minutes to jailbreak all in all and as you can see we now have Cydia. I am running iOS 5.0.1 as you can see launch studio for you there and um, just click developer click done and it's now just updating all the things that we needed to so this has been D900 man for migrant iPhone and this is how to jailbreak your device using Red Snow 0.9.10 beta 1. Remember, this isn't for the iPad 2 or 
the iPhone 4S is just for those older devices. So thanks very much for watching, please give us a thumbs up and also remember to share this video with your friends, family or anybody that wants to know about jailbreaking, it does help us a lot. So thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you real soon.